Good morning, it's Sister Sally. Sisters! I miss you a lot already, but I finally arrived in the fabulous city of Heliopolis. Heliopolis is, of course, located in ancient Greece. If you're wondering why I've decided to call the city I'm living in Heliopolis, I'm not going to tell you now, but maybe I'll tell you later. Trust me, there's a very good reason. A lot has happened in the past week since I arrived. I can't believe it's only been a week. First of all, I flew out and spent a couple days with Grandma and Grandpa, as you saw from the intro. They watched Sister Salad on my cell phone because they don't have the capacity to download Flash. They really liked it. Grandma especially got a big kick out of it. Grandpa would have too, but he was having trouble hearing. I had a little traveling companion, Roberta the Chican. For anyone who doesn't already know, she is composed out of grad school rejection letters. Chican butt! Roberta got a lot of attention on the flight. While I was waiting for my plane, a lady came up to me and said she was a photographer and she wanted to take a picture of Roberta because it was a one in a lifetime opportunity. Wow! So that was pretty funny. Also, the flight attendants got a big kick out of asking me about her. You're pretty famous. After a couple days of visiting, I drove out to Heliopolis. My car was pretty much as full as a car can possibly be, but it was a fun drive. And then I arrived here. When I got here, my roommate was here with her family. They instantly offered to help me transport all my stuff up to the apartment, which was amazing. First, it was a little overwhelming. The walls were very white and there was a lot of stuff. I was very intimidated about how I was going to make this place homey. But then I just took things one at a time and I built my chair, made my bed folded my laundry, organized my books, put them on my bookshelf, hung up my starlights, put up posters, and before I knew it, it was done. I'm gonna show you my room now. You can see it in its pretty much finished state. I'm very happy about my room. It's got lots of bright colors. I like all the books that are on display. The only real problem is a severe lack of pictures of you two. I don't have any printed out. That is a problem. And I want to show you the rest of my apartment. We have this really awesome kitchen. You can see I've made good use of the refrigerator magnets. We've got a gas stove and a fridge. We have a nice little dining room, very bright and cozy. We have a living room, complete with laptop table, provided by my roommate, and a little sofa and chair, and television, also provided by my roommate. We've got our hallway, a bathroom, with an awesome shower curtain, provided uh, by my roommate. And then there's my roommate's room and my room. My roommate's pretty awesome. I hope I've communicated that by this point. We're kind of eerily compatible. I've had really good roommate karma all my life. One day I'm going to end up roomed with a serial killer just to make up for everything. Uh-oh. The other people who live in my apartment are really cool too. There are 14 of us. Everyone's really friendly and we've done a lot of hanging out together. And according to my calculations, the classes I am taking are something you don't know about me yet. I'm taking a general overview of the social sciences, also a class in ethnographic methods, and classical theories of religion. I think the best so far is how awesome my roommate and my apartment mates are. It's really going to make the year fun to have such cool people living nearby. Worst was probably the first couple days when I was still trying to get settled in and I didn't really know my way around and I felt like I still had a lot of stuff to do. Once I started getting stuff done and getting a better sense for how all the streets fit together, then I felt a lot better. I hope you like the new black round. You'll probably be seeing a lot of it. Next week I'll be able to give you an update on the first week of classes, which I'm sure will be crazy but also fun.